that shaving of my beard was uh, very symbolic towards leading uh, a good, clean life. Born on the 26th of November 1978, Michael Joseph Tuttle is a well-known TV personality with appearances in Orange County Choppers, American Chopper, and American Chopper Senior vs. Junior. The affable reality star shocked fans in 2009 after admitting himself into rehab during a lengthy battle with alcohol addiction. Michael's father, Paul Tuttle Sr., founded the famous motorcycle manufacturer Orange County Choppers, known as OCC, in 1999. Of his four children, three of them would go on to work in his company, Paul Tuttle Jr. as chief fabricator. Daniel as owner and general manager of Orange County Ironworks LLC, and Michael as assistant general manager. At just 14 years old, Michael began taking on minor responsibilities from the family business, such as answering the phones, cleaning up, and taking out the trash. From time to time, he also helped build choppers and even built his own bike. OCC was first featured on the Discovery Channel in September 2002 in the show American Chopper. The reality TV series focused on Paul Sr. and Paul Jr.'s busy job as custom motorcycle chopper manufacturers. Based in Newburgh, New York, the show gained notoriety for the verbal spats between the father and son team as well as their wildly differing creative styles. Sadly, in 2008, Paul Jr. quit the show after an explosive fight with his father and founded Paul Jr. Designs, a competing company. In December 2007, American Chopper moved to Discovery's sister channel, TLC, premiering a new season in the following month. Although the sixth season aired in April 2009, TLC dropped the series just 10 months later. However, in July 2010, the channel announced that the Tuttle clan would return in a spin-off series, American Chopper, Senior vs. Junior. The rollout of the new series was fraught with issues, including its sudden switch to Discovery halfway through its first season. Shortly afterwards, Discovery announced that the show would finish on 11 December 2012, thus putting an end to the Tuttle's decade-long TV career, at least for the time being. Mere months later, OCC was featured on the CMT network in Orange County Choppers. The series ran for one season between August 2003 and January 2014, with nine episodes which included a pilot. The addition of Evan Favaro as the team's creative director helped bring some life back to the floundering show, but ultimately, four years would pass before the Tuttles made their on-screen comeback. Despite the general public's indifferent reaction, fans were thrilled when the first episode of season 11 aired on CMT in March of 2018. Entitled Welcome Back, the show reunited Paul Sr. and Paul Jr. A decade after the professional and sometimes personal split, the season finale came in April 2019 after an action-packed eight episodes, which saw the father and son duo work on an array of projects, many times with incredible results. Finally, CMT announced American Chopper The Last Ride in July 2020. The two-hour special aired a week later and showed Paul Sr. and his eldest son come together to build a bike for the first time in over a decade. The union of OCC and Paul Jr. Designs was something fans had been waiting for years to see and they weren't left disappointed. Having joined forces to build a chopper for ABC Supply Company, America's largest roofing supply company, it was a race against time to finish the ambitious project in just eight weeks. As was to be expected, Paul and his son clashed more than once during filming due to creative differences. Nonetheless, fans saw it as a fitting way to end the series, while Paul Jr. was apparently glad for the opportunity to work with his father one last time. Michael's role in the family business was partly to provide comic relief in the shows, and represent the company at promotional events. Over the years, he appeared in The Late Show with David Letterman, The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, and Late Night with Conan O'Brien to discuss the show and in the process, drum up publicity. Despite often being ridiculed by his father and brother, Michael took it all in his stride with his positive personality giving viewers a break from the Paul Sr. and Paul Jr.'s constant feuding. The star's first TV appearance was in 2003. Most of the time, he tried his hard to mediate in the ongoing family disputes. In the 13th episode of season 6, fans were shocked to discover that Michael had been kicked out of the family business. In what many considered a harsh move, Paul Sr. claimed that Michael had been given plenty of opportunities to advance his career at OCC and chose not to follow through on them. Following his father's decision, Michael joined Paul Jr. in his business venture and didn't return to the original American Chopper series until 2012. His other appearances included cameos in Last Call with Carson Daly, The Big Idea with Donnie Dutch, and even a sit-down interview with none other than Ellen DeGeneres. Eagle-eyed fans would also spot Michael in an old episode of the beloved sitcom My Name is Earl, but for unknown reasons, he decided not to pursue an acting career. In 2011, Michael bit the bullet and began marketing a line of high-quality pasta sauces under Q Productions LLC. However, his business venture failed, and since then, he hasn't made any other attempts to become an entrepreneur. Somewhat surprisingly, given their TV appearances, the Tuttle clan have been battling against addiction for decades. In his book, The Ride of a Lifetime, 
Paul Sr. gave readers a candid insight regarding his 15-year drug and alcohol problem, which came to an end in 1985, when his wife Paula convinced him to check into rehab. Having been a hard partygoer and drinker since just 15 years old, Paul Sr. was coughing up blood and had a myriad of health problems, which were too serious to overlook. I wanted to have one last good drink, so the day before I was set to go into rehab, I drank a half gallon of wine, a pint of brandy, and took six Valiums, Paul Sr. recounts. Sadly, on the day he was meant to check in, he woke up hungover and decided not to go because he wouldn't be able to run his business in the meantime. Somewhat debatable in itself, however, he compromised and started attending Alcoholics Anonymous meetings, which he did faithfully for years. I was the only guy in the company who had decided to sober up, so there was constant pressure on me to drink, Paul Sr. adds. Despite feeling constant pressure to drink with the rest of his colleagues, the founder of OCC kept his word and eventually told his workmates that there would be no more drinking in the shop or on the job. Most of his employees walked away, and Paul's tough decision also spelled the end of his partnership with his right-hand man, John Grosso. Although Paul Sr. was able to kick his addiction in touch, Paul Jr. entered rehab at the young age of 16, while Michael's publicized drink and drugs problem hindered his career and opportunities for advancement. It's unknown when he checked out of rehab, but his random disappearances from TV in the past have caused fans to worry, and it's also speculated that he was kicked off American Choppers due to his vices. Michael himself isn't married, and there are no signs of a special someone in his life, but the rest of his siblings have gone on to form their own families. In August 2010, Paul Jr. tied the knot with Rachel Beister, an aspiring fashion designer, and in February 2015, the couple welcomed their son, Hudson Seven, who Michael affectionately refers to as his godson. Daniel, who has been credited with turning Orange County Ironworks into an empire, has been married to Tara Tuttle for years. The couple share two children, Danny and Gabriella, and often post cute family snaps on social media for the benefit of their fans. Danny is totally different from everybody else, Paul Sr. explained in a 2009 interview with CNBC. He's me. He's an aggressive go-getter, self-sufficient, self-reliant person. For that very same reason, the father and son chose not to work together. But Daniel's business acumen has been demonstrated time and time again over the years. In 2004, Daniel turned Orange County Iron into Orange County Iron Works, and just months later founded Gabriel Steel Erectors Incorporated, a structural steel erection company. In 2010, he built a staggering 55,000 square foot steel fabrication shop in Montgomery, New York. Some of the company's New York City projects include the Apple Building, the Museum of Modern Art, and the One World Trade Center, and it also boasts work on JFK and LaGuardia airports. Those who keep up with the Tuttles were surprised to learn about Daniel's OC County Ironworks bankruptcy case, which started in July 2005. According to the Middletown Times Herald Record, a company trustee alleged that the Tuttles planned a scheme to hinder, delay, and defraud the iron company's creditors. Reportedly, the assets were moved from OC Ironworks to Orange County Ironworks LLC in 2004, with the trustee claiming that the new company hadn't paid fair compensation. Creditors were left empty-handed when the Tuttles declared the OC Ironworks company bankrupt. But in 2008, Daniel was ordered to settle claims with a $500,000 payment. Kristen, Paul Sr.'s only daughter, and arguably the most discreet Tuttle sibling, has been gainfully employed as a pediatrician for years and is currently living in New York City. With under 400 Instagram followers and private social media accounts, it's almost impossible to glean any information regarding her private life, although she's believed to be married. As for Paul Sr. and Paula, they divorced in 1995, following 26 years of union. Shortly afterwards, he met Beth Dillon, whom he eventually married in 2007. Sadly, their formal relationship didn't last either, as they filed for divorce just five years later. Although the causes for both divorces are unknown, it's thought that Paul Sr.'s fiery temper played an important factor in both his former wives walking away. For now, the patriarch and businessman isn't seeing anyone that we know of. More recently, in December 2020, mere months after the tunnels were last seen on TV, the Hudson Valley Post reported that OCC had posted a mysterious video on Facebook of a map highlighting Florida, captioned, OCC the next chapter. The future never looks so bright. Hashtag OCC. Hashtag Paul Senior. Hashtag New York. Hashtag Florida. Hashtag 2021. Fans were left intrigued and wanting to know more. Days later, the OCC shared a video of construction work in Florida, sharing the next chapter in the OCC story with the announcement of an OCC Roadhouse, Museum and Entertainment Complex set in St. Petersburg, Florida. In a Zoom interview, Paul Sr. enumerated the reasons for moving the business to Florida, listing the sense of freedom and larger fan base. In Florida, the riding season is nine months, maybe even ten. In New York, you have a short season, only three months or so. He shared, politics and taxes also influenced his decision, 
But overall, the Tuttle Patriarch simply felt that it was time for a change of scenery. The motorcycle-themed restaurant and museum have proven to be an enormous success so far, attracting thousands of fans from all over America. With live shows, a sumptuous menu, and plenty to see, supporters are invited to rev your engines, sip some cold brews, and hit the open road at OCC Roadhouse and Museum. It's not clear if the latest business venture is run by Old Family, as Paul Jr. has yet to promote the Roadhouse and prefers to focus on his own business. Michael, a sporadic social media user who has been quiet on Instagram since June 2021, has also had little to say regarding his father's new venture. For now, only time will tell if Paul Sr. and his brood will return to the small screen. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.